Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 78 of 2021, reorganizing the executive body of the Supreme Council for Environment. The Chief Executive Officer shall be followed by Deputy Chief Executive at the rank of Assistant Under Secretary, Al Arin Park Administration, Management of Reserves, Human and Financial Resources Management, Communication and Environmental Awareness Department, Radiation Protection Department, Environmental Assessment and Licensing Department, Department of Control and Environmental Protection, Biodiversity Management and Climate Change and Sustainable Development Department. Decree 91 of 2012, organizing the executive body of the Supreme Council for Environment shall be repealed. His Majesty also issued Decree 79 of 2021, amending Article 1 of Decree 35 of 2016 on establishing the Higher Committee for Urban Planning. It adds to Article 1 of Decree 35 of 2016 on establishing the Higher Committee for Urban Planning, Article 2, and the rest will be renumbered accordingly as follows. National Security Advisor, Secretary General of the Supreme Defense Council. His Majesty the King issued Decree 80 of 2021 on regulating the retirement of ministers and those of equivalent status, provided that every text that contradicts the provision of this decree is repealed. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable congratulations to the Algerian President Abdel Majid Tabon on his country's Independence Day. His Majesty the King wished President Tabon good health and happiness, marking the national occasion. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from National Guard Commander General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, marking the decision of the Board of Trustees of the Moscow State University for International Relations to award His Majesty the King an honorary doctorate in recognition of his noble role in promoting peaceful coexistence and dialogue among various religions and cultures. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed expressed deepest pride at the global recognition, hailing His Majesty's contributions and pioneering pioneering initiatives that embody the values and principles of peaceful coexistence and dialogue between religions and cultures. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from Royal Court Affairs Minister His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa, marking the decision of the Board of Trustees of the Moscow State University for International Relations to award His Majesty the King an honorary doctorate in recognition of his noble role in promoting peaceful coexistence and dialogue among various religions and cultures. The minister expressed deepest pride at the global recognition, hailing His Majesty's contributions and pioneering initiatives that embody the values and principles of peaceful coexistence and dialogue between religions and cultures. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, marking the decision of the Board of Trustees of the Moscow State University for International Relations to award His Majesty the King an honorary doctorate in recognition of his noble role in promoting peaceful coexistence and dialogue among various religions and cultures. He expressed deepest pride at the global recognition, hailing His Majesty's contributions and pioneering initiatives that embody the values and principles of peaceful coexistence and dialogue between religions and cultures. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, marking the decision of the Board of Trustees of the Moscow State University for International Relations to award His Majesty the King an honorary doctorate in recognition of his noble role in promoting peaceful coexistence and dialogue among various religions and cultures. The Deputy Premier expressed deepest pride at the global recognition, hailing His Majesty's contributions and pioneering initiatives that embody the values and principles of peaceful coexistence and dialogue between religions and cultures. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the BDF Commander in Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, marking the decision of the Board of Trustees of the Moscow State University for International Relations to award His Majesty the King an honorary doctorate in recognition of his noble role in promoting peaceful coexistence and dialogue among various religions and cultures. The Commander in Chief expressed deepest pride at the global recognition, hailing His Majesty's contributions and pioneering initiatives that embody the values and principles of 
of peaceful coexistence and dialogue between religions and cultures. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from Deputy Prime Minister Jawad bin Salam Al Arayat, marking the decision of the Board of Trustees of Moscow State University for International Relations to award His Majesty the King an honorary doctorate in recognition of his noble role in promoting peaceful coexistence and dialogue among various religions and cultures. He expressed deepest pride at the global recognition, hailing His Majesty's contributions and pioneering initiatives that embody the values and principles of peaceful coexistence and dialogue between religions and cultures. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable from Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa following the decision of the Board of Trustees of Moscow State University for International Relations to award His Majesty the King an honorary doctorate in appreciation of his role in promoting peaceful coexistence and dialogue among religions and cultures. He extended his sincere congratulations to His Majesty the King, expressing his great pride in the international appreciation, which reflects His Majesty's sincere efforts in promoting peaceful coexistence and dialogue between religions and cultures. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to the President of Algeria, Abdel Majid Taboun, on the occasion of Algeria's Independence Day. On behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the inauguration ceremony of the 3rd of July Naval Base in Je Jairoub in Egypt, following an invitation extended to His Majesty the King by Egypt's President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. This kind invitation comes as a symbol and embodiment of the strength of the long-standing brotherly historical relations between the two countries, which aims to strengthen the Arab power that is growing in this era. Bahrain also takes deepest pride in Egypt's landmark strides across all development fields led by President Assisi in light of the strong relations and solid joint cooperation. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed his honor to attend the ceremony on behalf of His Majesty the King, where he conveyed His Majesty's greetings and congratulations to the Egyptian President on the opening of the base. His Highness praised the high and advanced level shown by the Egyptian forces in the maneuvers that took place during the opening, which reflected the efficiency of these forces and the their ability to carry out the various tasks and responsibilities assigned to them.
The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed his happiness at the victory of the victorious cycling team in the eighth stage of the Tour de France after the team cyclist Dylan Tunes won first place. His Highness affirmed that winning the eighth stage is an extension of the successful journey of the victorious cycling team after the cyclist Matej Moric won first place in the seventh stage. He expressed confidence in the capabilities of the riders in achieving first place in the eighth stage. His Highness added that the team entered with great enthusiasm and everyone was determined to achieve the first place and the team cyclist Dylan Toons was able to record the name of the Kingdom of Bahrain in the first place. His Highness wished the team further success and continuing to reap the achievements during the upcoming participations. Following the announcements of the National Medical Task Force for combating the coronavirus of the COVID-19 alert level traffic light system based on COVID-19 positivity rates, the Health Ministry continues to urge citizens and residents to adhere to precautionary measures to ensure further reducing the number of cases. To speak more about this, we are joined on the phone by the Chief of Disease Control Section at the Ministry of Health, Dr. Adil Salman Sayyad. Hello, Dr. Adil. Now that commercial sectors and shops are open according to yellow level regulations, what is your advice for citizens and residents to maintain good progress in reducing the spread of the virus? Hello for everybody and uh, good evening. Actually, this is very important. Now we are uh, with the achievement that the community and uh, Team Bahrain um, together uh, did. We need to continue on this sector and we need to abide by the regulations, the rules that we were doing during the, la the last uh, few uh, weeks to sustain the success. In particular, we need to uh, abide by the uh, social um, distancing, masking, wearing masks, and of course, uh, uh, the washing hands and washing uh, places. And of course, we need to abide by the rules of um, attending the shops, the restaurants, all the, the, the uh, rules and regulations that Minister of Health uh, issued in order to sustain the uh, achievement, the success, the community and the team that during the last period. Doctor, can you elaborate on the development of the vaccination campaign in line with the directives to achieve the desired health goals? Well, this is very important uh, uh, issue also because as you know and uh, everybody knows, we have two things to do. We want to prevent the virus from entering the body of anybody. And this is what we in, uh, mentioned earlier. And the other thing, we need to have something to protect our body within, from within, from the virus, if, God forbid, it enters to your body. The answer to that is the vaccine. Now we are achieving more than one million who took the second vaccine and we started uh, the booster uh, campaign. Now we have, we are uh, watching uh, a good success in both campaigns, and we need to continue that because this is the uh, answer for uh, competing this virus for everybody. So I encourage everybody, those who did not uh, take the, uh, the vaccine, to start to go and take it, and for those who uh, are eligible for the booster uh, dose you need to register and go and take the third dose. Chief of Disease Control Section at the Ministry of Health, Dr. Adil Salman Al-Sayyad, thank you for joining us. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,071,685 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 996,404 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 2,376 with 390 recoveries, 146 registered new cases and two deaths. 72 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 67 are contacts of active cases and 7 are travel related. Today's tally marks the lowest number of coronavirus cases since last December. The ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus.